What in the hell is wrong with you? Don't you know who I am? Yes, yes. I... <laughs> Stop smiling. I am the worldwide sensation. The best wrestler in the world. The Prince of Mumbai, Rishi Ghosh. And you have disrespected me. You've disrespected me. You've disrespected yourself. You've disrespected your audience. How do you sleep at night? How do you live with yourself? You made me very, very angry man. Very, very angry man. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't speak. I'm not just angry. I am absolutely furious. You know what? I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you for every penny you've got. You won't even be able to afford this silly little hat. I'm out of here. Sort your life out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really. So, like, sue us. Who, uh, what, who's going to sue us? Like, why why would it. you do that? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> What's he, how, he couldn't get away with that, man. Yeah, I mean, what what would he what would he even sue us for? Is it a, a slander? Or, I don't know. Yeah, you what, think making him walk off the show? It's, it's a prerequisite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Come on right Jesus. here right now and you walk off. That's... Yeah. It's what you do. Yeah? I don't think he's got any grounds to stand on, man. Say, say he was going to actually go through with it. What do you reckon we'd would have to do? Like, is it... I don't know, like, do you even think we could... Like, yeah, like, could we even afford a pro bono lawyer? I don't really know, man. He... Right, where's Marty anyway? Because this this equipment's not going to take itself down, is it? No, no. <laughs> hey, it could be, it could be, it could be a bit of a laugh if he actually went there, though. Hi. What is that? Uh, where have you been? Yeah. Well, well, I went with him, you know, because he was he was very angry. The prince, he was very angry. I don't right. know why, but he was very angry. So. So I tried to persuade him not to sue us, and he went, he went to the hairdressers and everything. So, so I went and, and I went and sat with him, and, and I'm. What have you done to your head? Well, that's what the hairdresser did. But he didn't get it finished because they're like he finished, and by that point he was really, really angry, and then he left, and so I had to leave as well. So you it's gonna be okay, stalked it? him into a barber and. I didn't stalk him exactly. This, I was. This I was, can't I was be trying good, man. This, 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 seriously, this can't be good. I, I I don't know do how we're really, gonna, Do you really think that's a good idea this, right so. now, Krish? Yeah. Dude, it's the only thing that's going to help when I'm stressed, Look, man. Like, how are we going to get out of this one? I've seen it's you stoned, it, right? I need you to focus right now, because we need to work out what you can sue us for. Okay. Okay, so... Why is he angry? Now... There must be a reason why. He is from Mumbai. Who that's where he's like a prince from, isn't it? Now, he was very angry, wasn't he? So let's make him angry. Yeah. And he had like spots on, didn't he? He was like wearing like a leopard. Leopards come from Mumbai, don't they? So that's probably why. Now, what if, because people who come from Mumbai, I've watched this about this, they, they're into cows, aren't they, right? Now, we had loads of milk out on the side. So, was it the milk that made him angry? Because I've got reasoning behind this, because they, they're, oh, is he religious though? Oh, I don't know about that bit. But anyway, they have a lot of cows in Mumbai. And they like, they're like really into them and stuff. And like they look after them and everything. And it's like, it's like oh, I could, could be the cow, the, the milk. Oh, that's a glass of milk there, all right? That could be the reason. No? Yeah, yeah, it could be. What else could he be angry about? He could be angry. Because he doesn't like me. 
Yeah, maybe he doesn't like me. I'm smaller than him, look. He was a big lad, wasn't he? Big lad. Christian, do you want to handle this one? Um, what, what, my? Yeah. I don't know how to tell you this in like an elaborate way, but no. No what? No, no to, to all of it, no. No, no in no. every sense of the word, there's no possible way to explain. Just, just no. You don't do... No. Oh. Just the cow? No. Not the cow. Not the Not cow. Not the fact that you've made I mean, him look like a clown. Rub, rub it out, Marty. Oh, rub it out. All of it. Stop thinking about it. Rub it out. All of it. Start again. Mm -mm. Take the others off. Look, we've just got to work out what we could have said that might have offended him. Not go to the most extreme conclusion that we can find. Oh, for real. So does anyone remember what we said? You look mental. So, um, are you not worried about catching some form of a uh, mental illness? You know, uh, what's it? What's it called? What's it called? That uh, ring disease. Was was he supposed to be here? Uh, I'm not really sure how this is relevant at all. Um, and to be honest, I'm feeling like you brought another fake guest on because you can't find anyone to fill the spaces. This is a this is an absolute waste of my time and 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 everyone else's time really. I'd I'd like to go to be honest. But well, we all know wrestling isn't a real sport. Could be the fact that you dissed his profession. How did I diss his profession? I turn around and say wrestling ain't real. Everyone knows rest. Look. Look, it's more likely to be when you said that, what was it, oh, are you not worried that you might catch a mental illness when you're wrestling? Yeah, yeah, that didn't make much sense, did it? Yeah, yeah. what? Um, a mate of mine told me it can be contagious. Your mate needs to read a book, I think. Or he could listen to our show. Yeah. No, it can't be that. Like, the other guests walked out. Yeah. It's not like it was that big a deal. She was going off. Maybe, because of all these different things, he had like triggering in his head from post-traumatic stress, from all the fights and the in the wrestling and stuff. That could be it. You 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 think he's got PTSD from wrestling? We have to get like thrown around. He's not a war victim. That's aggressive, isn't it? Uh, look, he's not seen his friends torn apart. Okay, that's not the same thing at all. He's not going to get a flashback of getting smacked around the head with a flipping chair, is he? Yeah. He's looking a bit worried, mate. Don't worry about him. He's alright. He can handle it. Yeah. So we... I didn't realise he was a real prince. I, I, in future, I would have referred to him as, as like, your majesty. Didn't you meet up with that, uh, what's her face a little yeah. while back, surely? It should be a bit calmer, they hit it off. What, what the... Was it? Sandra, was it? Yeah, yeah, that royalist chick. Oh, yeah, God. She's weird, though. See, yeah. So is he. Yeah, to be yeah. fair, yeah. Do you know? Yeah. I just don't know if he's handling it right. He's fine. Look, this is him in his element. Look at him. He's firing on all cylinders, or or one of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, is that really important? Oh, yeah, yeah. Apparently, okay. Right. So if if I ring him back, right, and say, call him the Prince of Mumbai. Well, he did. No, he's not going to come back. Okay. No, no. It'll be. A Guys. Right, guys. Right, I, I, I know what's happening. I, I, I've spoken to Stephen. Right, and he's explained. But when the guy was here, nobody referred to him as the prince. No one said. So, 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 so that's probably quite insulting if you're like royalty and stuff, isn't it? If you're not to be called by your correct title, it's, that's not going down well. Marty, he's not a prince. He has his name. He's the prince. Yeah, he's a wrestler. Marty, 
That's his stage name. Oh, that's why uh, he didn't like it when we called him by. Where well, we even got his name so, wrong. Look, 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 we don't have. It's a, good news. We, we he can't sue us. We don't have a problem then. Oh. So we're out of the shit. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, yeah. I like that. That's good. Yeah, you, you, face did not express that in oh, any oh, way. Oh, oh. Hold on. Hey, are you all right? Oh. Yeah, hey, some, man. We had to do some poetry. Yeah. Hey? Um, um, I, well, I meant to. I might have made a little bit of a mistake. Yeah, we there. can't. We can't. We can't do that now. Yeah, we've we've packed up all the equipment and everything. It was gonna be for next week, and I didn't get the dates right on the email. So it's probably a bit confusing. It made me come all this way. I will see you. You do know that. Oh, um, no. Maybe we could get the equipment set up. Um, you don't need to think down those lines. Go on then, Marty. Go, come on, get, get the, you get the equipment. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's Go better. Yeah. Set up. What are you doing? <laughs> so you all, you all spend your time some days like, oh my God, the train was great. Right was late. Somebody jumped in front of the train. I'm going to be late for my dinner, late for my jumping. Listen to what I got to tell you. I was in that situation. When you get down that road, it's not dark. There's nowhere to go. Suicide. I actually wrote this after I tried. After. I don't even know why I'm still here. My reflection looked at me with no life in its eyes. It grabbed his hand out the mirror and grabbed me by the throat and pulled me inside into its world on the other side. It was like standing in the dark watching my own shadow cry. My thoughts were all screaming, crushing me as I tried to stop thinking. My anger turned into rage. There's no laughter on my reflection's face. Sadness has taken over. Happiness has lost its place. So cold in this world where the sun shines all night. Where the stars always shine, every night they're so bright. As I looked and I wondered why my own shadow cries. It made me numb. My destiny has been chosen. Death will have to come. A voice starts whispering, you'll never be missed. You'll never be loved. Take these pearls and cut your wrists. Your life has no meaning. Once you're dead, you can stop screaming. Don't be afraid of the other world where broken souls have to go. A place where's, where there's no reflection and many mirrors waiting, you watching you waiting. All your problems seem to be lost and your thoughts no longer rot and your heart will never beat and crave love from deep within. But my shadow doesn't speak. It stands there silent as the darkness all around me. I wrote that about five minutes after I tried. And I'll tell you a true story. I was at Fratton train station and I was waiting for the London Waterloo. And as he was coming, as I was about to jump, this guy behind me, he tapped me on the shoulder and he said, excuse me, mate, what's the time? And I looked at him and I was thinking, the f why, why? And he's like, no worries, this is my train. And he left and that changed my life. And, and I stopped. I just carried on like, I don't know who he is, where he is. If you're watching this, come on, come pump you know what I mean? Come say hello by your beer or something, but true story. Um, mental health is a, is a situation where it's like a, like a spider walking on a broken web. It's like one day I walked into this place, it was filled with misery. There was a hatred around, sadness was his destiny. It's a sad situation. Everybody had left me. My thoughts, my emotions, my feelings. Even my mom was gone. There was no one there left for me. It's a bad place. But you come out and you become creative and you write poetry to teach people, to tell them, to listen. So next time you, you hear somebody's jumped off a train or done something, think again. That's, that's all i got to say about that.